Welcome to dev blog number seven. This is gonna be our biggest update and dev blog to date. So this is alpha 0.21. We're just gonna get right into it because this is a big one. The first update to cover is gonna be the overworld. Previous dev blog, we released outside the Coliseum. Now, if you go directly south, you'll see the first and main town. To get a better idea of how big this is compared to the previous island, take a look at this graphic. It's huge, absolutely tons to explore, and as of right now, only one interior is up. Future updates will include them. I'm just gonna showcase some video here quickly, but I absolutely recommend exploring around to see it in person because it is substantially bigger than the other island. There is plenty to see. Three new original soundtracks have been added, along with new Coliseum music. Here's a quick listen. These tracks will be made available in the future, but you will hear them throughout the game. The Message Hub. So before, you couldn't PM, you couldn't friend, and you couldn't interact unless it was within the game itself in game chat. Now, we have a dedicated chat box with dedicated tab for all chat, so you can mass message, server messages, guild messages, which is to come, and private messages. Let's go ahead and dive into the Message Hub and how it works. So I'm a noob, of course and I want to interact using the message hub with other players. To open the message hub, you simply click the hub button right below. When open, you will see specific tabs up top of the box. Let's dive into what each tab represents. The all tab will be a global chat, also known as mass messages. In phase one, it is dedicated to that, but in future, it will include in-game chat and various commands to PM people directly from it, along with other features. Server message tab. Staff server messages will display in here. Guild tab. Whatever guild you currently represent, the chat will display here. This is an upcoming feature as it ties in with our guild system. All PM tab. Every single PM you get displays here and each conversation is represented by a number. So you can manage all PMs at once and respond. This tab will evolve in time. Empty PM tabs. These are where most recent PMs are displayed. So as a noob, I currently don't have any PMs. But I'll go through this very shortly. The more button. This button brings up a submenu, which displays all previous conversations. I will also touch on this shortly. So now that we've covered all the tabs, let's go ahead and show how it works. So noob wants to send a global message to everyone. So noob clicks the all tab and then types a message. And noob will get a response depending on who's online. Oh, what's this? It looks like Noob got a friend request from the astronaut. So the top right represents also notifications. There'll be more notifications to cover, but as you can see, the Noob got a friend request. So let's go ahead and click on that. So Noob adds astronaut as a friend as well. So Noob then wants to send astronaut a direct message. So let's go ahead and show the scenario of that. So option one of sending a direct message is click on a player's profile, then click message. Option two is Click the social hub, which we're about to cover, go to friends and click astronaut and you will send a message. So let's go ahead and send astronaut a message and see if we get a reply. If you look at the top right, you'll see we got a notification. That notification indicates we got a direct message from someone. Let's go ahead and click that and see what they said. So we got a response, but also take note those empty PM tabs are now filling up. Those are your last three recent PM conversations. If you're in different conversations that go further back, then just click the more button. Here you'll see all your past conversations. 
Currently, Noob only has one, but if you were to be talking to a lot of people, you'd see a big list here. Also, take a look at the Message Hub placement. It is placed at the bottom, so you can also multitask in-game while keeping the chat box open. This allows for flexibility to be doing multiple things in-game at once. The social hub. We've already kind of touched a couple parts of the social hub. Basically, the social hub is how you're going to find friends, who's online, who's offline, player lists, who you've blocked, how to find people, how to search for people. This is a critical part to be able to interact with people, no matter where they are on the map, even if they're offline. So if you need to find your friend, see who's online, the social hub is where you need to go. Two new weapon types were added, Spear and Staff. You can also now customize your slash for each individual weapon type. Also for specific ones like Sword has a scab, Spear has a holster, and so does Staff. You can choose specific ones for each one of those. Also, now you can choose from custom sounds. Quack. As you can hear, there are some sounds that are pretty unique. This is something we want to test and people to have fun with, so go at it. We also have more customs in terms of hats, some new bodies, so I'm not going to go through all of that because there's there's so much and you know any suggestions that you have just let us know. Or anything to add or what's not working, just the feedback is always welcome. Couple other updates. Now when you get hit within spar, there's a subtle red flash on the edges. It's a good way to indicate that you've been hit in game. Also when your HP is low, some feedback we got, probably gonna be adjusting a little bit. Profiles, there's a message button, an add button and remove button, depending if you're friends. There's also indicator to see when someone is online, when someone's offline and when they were last online. And one of the biggest things that people had request surprisingly was how can they check their MS on the game? Now you can cycle through Alt-1, Alt-2. You'll be able to see your FPS and your MS to the server. And that'll do it for this dev vlog. As always, we'll keep you guys informed. Uh, check out our Discord and way more to come. So thanks for watching again.